because um, if you look at what attracts people, the first um, site of attraction is the face. Mm. But what actually comes together into what we call or what we should term as love goes beyond the face or goes beyond the physical because you are going to live with someone who is not like you you are going to live with someone who will annoy you you are going to live with someone who will do something against your principles and ideals about this life but for the fact that you are in love with the person how you react to it and what you do when the person does something that you disagree with and the fact that you need to be patient and then accept those differences okay. is what is actually love. Okay, so let's be more practical here. So in this situation, we have um, a lady and then a female. Mm -hmm. And this lady and this female, they've been in a relationship for, let's say, for two to three years. And this is how the story goes. So this lady has been with this man for two to three years and with the word, I want to use the word a pain, not even a pain, she has received from the guy. So in this situation, you've been with a lady and we all know that L and yeah boy, you know, that is what we, we all say, yeah boy, yeah boy. But the yeah, boy of the crowd who are, you know, ladies comes with a lot of responsibilities. You are not saying you shouldn't take care, but at least do something. So you've been with this lady, not even a guy, not even a CD, one CD, to even tell, oh, um, um, a fear or something, take this money and just use it uh, for, for yourself, or if you need something. So in this relationship, what do you think of this relationship? What is in this relationship at that? So I will look at it from two angles. Uh -huh. From the man and from the woman. Um, generally, one of the challenges we face in this age is the fact that we tend to put a price tag to love. To relationships which is very unfortunate but if you look at it from the woman to have sacrificed all these years to be living with this person without a pen as you have mentioned of course we can say it is love because <laughs> no, because you see because to, to, to have no monetary motivation to to be with the person and then yet she remained in the relationship for those years that is that is okay. indeed love okay. because love comes with sacrifice it comes with sacrifice indeed. but if if you flip it and then you look at it from the man's point of view then you see the man has some ulterior motives in the sense that yes you are not supposed to take full responsibility of the person of if you are not married but you should know that human beings come or have things that they need money to sort out especially to women so let's 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 let me side this example you are with a lady and probably she sees something or rather you see something that you feel fits your woman we should know that the fact that the woman is with you has become a part of you or a part of right. your life so wherever she is she represents you of course same as you represent her so i believe if she appears presentable wherever she is that goes to also affect you it's positive. Like it's to you. exactly so the man here is taking advantage of the fact that the woman is able to sacrifice and that she is in love with him. So he is not actually doing what he is supposed to do. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll let you continue more because it's getting interesting. We would like to go for a break and we'll come back.
and welcome you all back to the highlight show. Okay, right. We were talking about the guy having a motive of what he is doing. Let's see. Yes. So I was talking about basically how the guy, of course, is taking advantage of the sacrifices that the lady is making. Because as a guy in this age, you should, as I said, try to put your woman together in a certain light because most of the times guys tend to cheat with things that they don't get in a relationship. So to not have that temptation outside, it is better you invest in your woman just as you invest in yourself as a person. So in this situation, what are some of the dangers in it? Uh, the dangers in this case will largely be on the woman because she seemed to be the vulnerable one here. If you look at all the sacrifices she had to make, yet this or the guy is not appreciating. Then you can talk about the psychological and emotional trauma that she will have to bear. And that, I believe, is not something that is, it will, be, will, be, will be fine. But you know, let me know uh, a practical here. You don't, you, you, you know ladies uh, need task on themselves. Sure. So you can't be in a relationship and you just leave it there. And sure. it's not like the lady don't want to talk. But you know there are some ladies that they, they can't, they don't have the courage to ask. That oh, I need this man, I need this. But in your own sense, sorry for my language, in your own sense, you should know that no, at least let me call her, talk to her. Okay, a piyama, a piyada, a piyawa. what? Tell me what is what I can provide for you, or tell me if I can do this for you. But what they are telling me. So I, I think so the lady has a right to just keep even in this case she has the right to give them the right to the yes. challenge the challenge here is that we should understand that the guy taking financial responsibility of the lady in this case is not my need. It's only something that should be a normal thing that you do. I believe as a lady you should try as much as possible to have a source of income. You don't have to 100% dwell on your guy for your upkeep. But it is really nice if the guy comes in as a complimentary sort of helper, such that there are certain things we do in a relationship. I believe it's, 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 it's nice if a guy probably sees something out there and then buys for his lady mm -hmm. just to surprise them. Of course, there are certain things that you would want to do to the woman to also at least make her look a bit presentable. So, yes, the guy is not trying in this case, but also it shouldn't be that it is his sole responsibility to take care of a woman or that the monetary factor should be so important or the relationship should be centered around that such that without it, the lady should walk away. Mm -hmm. I think that, 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 that should be the, the, the case. Okay, so in this case, let's talk more on the dangers of a relationship. That's the red flag. You know, we, we see those signs in our relationship, but we don't pay attention to it. Then we later on, see, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of, suicide cases when it comes to relationship is is as a source of ignorance so in this situation what are some of the dangers we need to pay critically attention to it so talk of the dangers let's use the scenario you give mm -hmm. to highlight some of the dangers or the red flags in a relationship this is a lady who has been with this guy for a number of years nothing monetary, nothing financial. I think um, in this case, that should at least awaken the lady such that 
she should know it is either that the guy doesn't have any bigger plans with her or she's totally out of his plans for life because if you want something you invest in it and it shouldn't really be about you spending on your woman's look sit her down ask her what can you do to help her achieve her dreams and ambition in life and ask her how you can help if it means you having to take certain um, um, you have to take certain steps financially to make sure that she gets that sort of smooth you know exercise or smooth uh, smooth exercise i should put it in achieving her dream i believe it goes a long way to help also sometimes in relationships you see most of the times people are not ready before getting into relationships so it starts without a foundation so you starting the relationship on that wrong note in the first place will only lead you into the ditch because relationship should be built on some cardinal foundations one respect for each other the second one being the fact that when you should be affectionate you should be sympathetic to, to each other so without this then the relationship uh, will, be, will be problematic mm. or that if it starts on that note and then some few months into the relationship so, so so using our scenario right what are some of the red flags let me put it in that way what are some of the red flags the lady can put across and it's a general question to us so what are some of the red flags we both both genders uh both the male and the female we need to know when we see those red flags in our relationship so as i have said there are certain things that we do